Chris Johnson here. So the next series of posts that I'm going to do for my viewers is centered on screening for defective running shoes. We're actually looking at a posterior view of my long course racing shoes. These are the Asics DS Racer. This is what I used in my last Ironman in Louisville. And uh, I'm in love with these shoes, but it's just because they fit my specific needs. Um, and most importantly, are free of defects. So the first part of this screening process involves taking both shoes, positioning them side by side on a level surface. And what we're going to be curious about is whether or not this heel counter is resting on a level platform. So you want to look at both sides and make sure that you get down at the level of the surface that the shoes are resting on. And you shouldn't see any abnormal angulation. Um, if you take the time to look at any of my previous posts on defective running shoes, you'll see exactly what I mean. Again, the heel counter should be resting neutral on a level platform. Okay, And that's the case with both of these shoes because otherwise I would have sent them back. Um, the shoe manufacturers report a 3% incidence uh, of shoe defects in shoes that make it to the market. So before you walk out of the store the next time you're going to buy a pair of shoes, make sure that you take the time to screen them because otherwise you may end up with a pair of lemons and you may, uh, may end up sustaining an unnecessary injury from shoes. So shoes aren't the problem, it's defective shoes which can be the problem. Stay tuned for my next post which is going to be centered on um, performing the brake test.